Hello everybody, Delicious VB back here today with um, episode 2 of the File Finder, as I call it. Um, file Explorer code thing. So, anyway. Uh, last episode, or first episode, I showed you this main populate code. I did not finish showing you it. And this is a key part, actually. Well, not key, but it's important. And you'll see what I mean. So, on your computer, you have um, directories that are only supposed to be used by you. For example, my documents, my pictures, my music, um, program files. Those are all um, files that Windows only wants you to be able to access if you have the right permissions. So now there is something on Windows that is called User Account Control (UAC), and um, UAC is what controls. Um, Say, if you want to download something that window that pops up, you have to type in min password, or say, um, or say, I mean, maybe you can, you can, um, download something whenever you want, okay, even if you're not the admin. It all depends on user account control. Now, even if your user account control is, um, really low, so like, you never ask for passwords, low security, you don't care about your computer, basically, then, um, even, even if it's like this, you will still have problems with, um, with this, um, with my.computer.filesystem.get directories and .get files, because in this, no matter what you try, you cannot get the directories or files from my documents, my pictures, or my music, or some others like program files, documents, settings, whatever. So, um, because you cannot access these, you have to um, create a try catch and. In this try catch, um, you try it now. If if um, it is a um, directory like this, it'll throw an error, and and if it throws an error, it'll go right to catch. So in catch, we have a few ifs and else ifs that check that. So if the path ends with my documents, so if you're trying to access the my documents folder and it tells you, oh, you know, um, you can't access it because you don't have permission, well, you can use something called my.computer.filesystem.specialdirectories.mydocuments. Now, for most people, that's um, C drive slash user slash whatever your username is slash documents. Now, when you load... Um, when you load the um, your own user folder, it will load documents and my documents. Now, if you click just documents, you'll be fine. It'll load the proper documents and it'll load them prop. It'll load them properly. Um, it'll it'll be all will be fine. But if you click the my documents um, button, then you will be led to an error. And that error is saying that you don't have the permission to access my documents. Now, I never really understood that. Because if you can access documents, why can't you access my documents? It's the same exact thing. Now, some users, when using your program, if you ever put this to use, will see my documents and they will not see documents. And they'll click my documents and I'll get this error. So what we're doing is we're saying, if it ends with my documents, if the path ends with my documents, then you change the path to the correct path, and then you populate again. You repopulate. Um, or if it ends with my pictures, then you change the path to the correct path and repopulate. Same for music. And you can do the same for the other things, program files, um, whatever. Whatever you see located, um, temporary files, whatever you see located in my.computer.filesystem.specialdirectories. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to fill in everything. There are probably about um, seven or eight, I think. So these are just three. Now we have another um, 
key thing. This is this is really key. Um, this is list view one dot double click. So when you double click an item in the list view, this happens. So it first checks if file exists. If there's a file that exists called list view one um, dot focus item dot text. Now list view one dot focus item dot text is basically the selected file you have the full name of the selected file you have. So if it exists as a file, then it starts the process. So it executes the file. So may, whether it be in Notepad or in Paint, say, whatever. It, execu it opens the file in the default program it is supposed to be open. Or else, if it's not a file, meaning it's a directory, then it first checks if it's dot, dot, dot. Now, if it's dot, 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 obviously that means you want to go up a level. Okay, so it says try populate my.computer.filesystem.get parent path. So it gets um, the path that holds the current path that you're browsing. So of combo box one.txt. So that's just the path. So the parent path of the path. Um, and that goes up. And then there's catch x as exception. Um, so if that doesn't work, that means that you are in a drive and when you're in a drive you can't go up any farther trust me so or else you'll crash your computer and it won't be good so you want to say message box you can't get any farther back than a drive whatever. you can say whatever you want I just you know I just you can make whatever message you want I just want to make an error message that isn't like too technical like you know an exception occurred a fatal exception occurred zero dot but, you know, I just didn't want to make it too technical. I just want to keep it simple so the user um, can understand it. So, then you end the try. Now you check, what if it's not dot dot dot? So what if the user is actually trying to go into a directory? Then you just populate um, the selected item. And you populate and the path would be the selected item that, the, the item that's currently selected. So now, um, combo box one dot key down. So if e dot key code equals keys dot enter, um, now this is <coughs> excuse me. This is um, if you press enter on the combo box, it executes this. So if you type a value boo boo boop enter, then it'll do this. It'll populate what the combo box one on Texas. And since users can really just type anything they want, you have to do a try um, because it'll throw an error and it'll crash the program and it won't be happy for the user. So you want to say message box, blah, 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 and then combo box one dot text. The path does not exist on the system as a directory. Check spelling because um, most of the time it's a spelling error. Um, and that's really it for... Um, pressing enter on a combo box and finally you have one more line of code to um, get into your project and that is um, the form one load so right when it loads you want to populate the uh, file explorer with the C drive the or the default combo box one dot text which in this case is the C drive so that's it for this project simple clean um it's only it's only 80 um it's only about less than 80 lines of code um so especially if you com compact it it's probably in 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 the 60s so really simple um short straight to the point it does what it's supposed to do easy to integrate again the code will be in the description but if you really want to learn guys i really strongly suggest um that you actually type out the code but anyway um if you made it this far you probably did type out the code you probably did listen to me but anyway um so thank you for listening thank you for staying listening because it, it's really gonna help you learn it's a really good thing instead of just finding codes and copying them you actually want to analyze them anyway so this code works. I'll show it to you right now. You know, go to recycle bin. You go up. Um, link to part one will be in the description. It's probably on screen right now, anyway, somewhere in uh, the general vicinity of this YouTube video. Um, but yeah, anyway, so make sure to check out part one because that's where I explain all this. So, anyway.
thank you guys for watching. Um, put this into use, whatever. If you make it to, may make your own file explorer. If you or if you integrate this into a different programs, such as an FTP program, good luck with that. Um, and I will, I may be, not will be, I may be, no promises. Um, I may make a video on tree views, and I will integrate it. Um, implement it into this file finder and by the way in um, Windows File Explorer there's a tree view as well so explorer.exe um, you will see that this is a tree view right here so um, tree views go along with the list views so thank you guys for watching again um, like the video um, comment on feedback. I love constructive criticism as well. Um, subscribe if you want more of this content. Um, and most of all, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And goodbye.